Alicia English and welcome to my channel. Over the past seven years, I have had so much fun refinishing hundreds of pieces of furniture, all of which I bought on a budget. Every single piece I have bought over the past several years has been $40 or less. And usually I spend under $20 being able to refinish them. I was able to take my passion for refinishing furniture to decorate my own home to be able to create beautiful pieces on a budget, but also was able to sell some of the finished pieces that I did to be able to create some extra revenue for my family. I hope that this video will inspire you to do the same. Last summer, I was able to go to an amazing Oceanside yard sale and picked up an amazing piece of furniture for only $10. I immediately noticed a few things about this piece, which is why it caught my eye. When I'm looking to find pieces to be able to refinish, I look for a few common denominators that I know will not only be able to make great furniture pieces restored, but also know that I can turn a profit for very easily. When you're looking for pieces, you wanna find things that are incredibly versatile. And when I saw this piece, I thought, boy, you could really use this for absolutely anything. It could be a hall cabinet. It could be a cabinet in a family room. It's actually an old wardrobe as there's a hanging bar in here. You could use this in a bathroom for storage. It literally could fit into any room depending on how you restore this piece. Oftentimes when I see something right away, I'm like, oh, that would be amazing painted this color or I have this idea to be able to do a really neat effect on it or change it in some way to give it a more updated look. Often if you're getting things for $10, they either need repair, they're super ugly and they don't look good anymore the way they are or they're very outdated. Or honestly, sometimes people just throw things away because they don't have a use for it and they have no more space, which is a win for you as the buyer and or the refinisher because you get a bargain on something someone else didn't want. I knew right away, painted any color, this piece would be adorable. It's not a high quality wood. It's just, I would say like a thin press board kind of doesn't really look like it's made anything better than maybe a half inch plywood on most of it. So this isn't what you would consider a high quality antique piece. So I have zero regrets painting this. Before I get restoring any pieces of furniture, the most important thing is to make sure that you have no smell, you degrease it, and you get off absolutely anything that's from previous owners. If you're going to put a layer of paint or restain, even though you're going to sand this, you want to get off everything you possibly can. I usually use TSP or just your regular Blue Dawn. Both work perfectly fine, so use what you've got. I've had worse. <laughs> Sometimes when you're finishing cabinets or especially china cabinets, you're going to have some runner rails where the doors go in. I like to use these little brushes here that are for actually cleaning patio door rails. They get into the grooves because if you're using a cloth or sponge, you're not going to be able to get all of the hair and debris and fluff that goes all in the rails. So this is a great tool to make that happen. all cleaned I want to remove any hardware and use any filler to put in spots that I'm going to either cover over to replace the hardware if the hardware is a different size or any dings or dents you just want to be able to use a little bit be able to let it dry in time for you to be able to sand the piece looks as low <laughs> they didn't have the correct hardware so they made do with what they had by adding some different little plastic washers and some screws. So luckily I have a bin full of hardware screws that I've kept from other pieces of furniture so we can do this right when we put it back together. Before we do any painting, since this isn't a piece of high quality wood, we're going to do a primer. There really isn't any point in sanding this piece because it's not really gonna do anything. It just has a very thin shellac coat on top of the plywood. So we're going to use a good quality primer before we add any paint. It's gonna to add to our durability. If this was wood, I'd get out the palm sander and do several coats with a medium grit sandpaper to make sure that it's completely smooth and get off any finish. So close.
gonna break out something from our school days. These loose leaf paper little binder clips that you can get just at your discount store. I'm going to turn these into a metallic gold for an idea for this cabinet later on in the transformation. I'm gonna open them all up to make sure that I can get all of them gold. And the two little wooden knobs that it came with, we're gonna make those gold as well. Whenever I'm choosing gold spray paint, it took me, I would say about three years to find the perfect gold. Gold usually looks too bronze, too brown, too yellow, too orange. And I was able to find something that was the perfect metallic. So this is Rust-Oleum and you have to look for the logo that says metallic. Seems like a no brainer because you're like, yeah, just look for the one that says metallic. But a lot of them do say metallic, but they aren't this particular logo. And this is the one that you want to look for, for the perfect gold for your accents. Golden. Because we're renovating a late 1899 abandoned house, there are not a lot of closets. Fairly older houses mostly just have closets in the bedrooms, which means that we don't have a lot of storage solutions for other things like what we're going to be putting in this cabinet for our family. So in order to make this the perfect storage solution, we need to be able to add some shelving to the interior of this cabinet. So I'm going to use some leftover plywood that we have from our kitchen makeover, I'll put the card above for you, and turn this into a much better way of organizing what we're going to house in this cabinet. I'm going to take the measurements and cut my board. Who am I to say we tried our best? Who am I to say we kept ignoring all the promises? Who am I to say there's nothing there? Who am I to look down? isn't going to be a focal point in the room we're going to put it in I don't want to add a huge pop of color and make this the focal point I just want this to be a storage solution to be able to make use of this cabinet as well as get a bunch of the storage things we need to put into here into a home spot for them if this was a solid wood piece of furniture I would have likely stained it or added it as maybe a really big focal point in this space giving it a pop of color but since we're not doing that I'm going to go with the tried and true painting it white this is also a great option to leave this as versatile as possible if you're flipping furniture always my number one pieces that sell first are always painted white because that way you're not looking for a specific buyer in a small market it's kind of something that will match absolutely everyone's decor so if you're thinking what should I paint something white is always the best option if you're looking to sell it and I'm going to use my beauty tone paint here and this is a velvet and I'm using high hide white I absolutely love this white because it doesn't have any yellow undertone or any brown undertone and again it would match absolutely anything that anybody has because it doesn't have those undertones behind it so we're going to paint this white and then add our gold hardware in my dreams I pick you up I just wanna make it right I know all about the troubles wanna drown into your eyes and feel your blue shelves inside the cabinet I'm going to use these little brackets they were about three dollars and fifty cents it's going to be a really easy way for me to add the shelf inside brackets inside to hold the shelves I decided to do it a little bit lower so I could still make use of the hanging bar at the top which is what we're going to use those binder clips for in the end to help utilize some more of our storage space so now that I have those in I can put the shelf in and then screw upwards the underside of the shelf to be able to adhere them so it's permanently in place
All the waterfalls and the wild waters Hanging off the cliffs, counting all the shadows And now we're in the shadows Wanna feel your blue in its forever home here in our living room and I think that just making this white was the perfect choice. We don't have a lot of things at cabinetry especially in this room that are color but I do have an idea for our entryway and that cabinet is going to have color. So I thought it would be too mismatchy if I was going to make this that pop of color. And like I said since it's just pressed boards there's no point in really making this the focal point of the room but it definitely needs to have the function that I had in mind. So this is now our board game cabinet and I think it is so nice to have a spot since this house is older there's no storage space for things like that other than bedroom closets so this gives us a really easy and accessible spot to be able to store all of the board games and card games and things that have loose parts that you want to have packed away in an organized way which is where our binder clips come into play and that center bar that was already here in this little wardrobe cabinet. I'm going to attach some of these plain pencil cases and we can put some things in that will have loose parts. I'm just gonna put in a deck of cards and just show you, zip it up, attach my little binder clip, and then I get to hang it from the inside rail. So my next idea for this would be to put a monogram or a title for the board game or card game, whatever you're going to put into your little pencil cases to hang so you know what's inside of them. This is going to keep all those loose parts organized and kept in one place so you know where they are. We now also have ample room to be able to store using the shelf that we installed in this little cabinet that I just used a piece of scrap wood for and those $3.50 clips. That means we can add as many board games as we have. We actually have more to add to this cabinet. We have more room on the other side as well as a drawer on the top here to put other things that have smaller parts, packs of cards, you know, smaller games that will not have to take up so much room in the bottom. So this is going to organize everything and give us so much more space and then you can just close it up and it just looks like just a standard cabinet in your living room and no one would ever know that you have all these board games in between. For this cabinet, I used paintbrushes and rollers that I already had, regular house paint that I had that was just white from other projects, a piece of scrap wood, and $13.50 worth of materials. If I was going to flip this and upcycle it, it would be an easy sale because it's very versatile, it's white, it matches everyone's decor, and it can be used for so many different purposes. I hope this video inspired you to do your own DIY furniture flipping projects, even for your own home or to sell. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, hit subscribe. Follow along on the playlist. You can see other furniture refinishing projects I've done in the past. I love you. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next episode. My word okay. is reflective. Re reflective. Wow. Facebook. Oh. It's very reflective very sometimes reflective. when you're on Facebook. <laughs> Public toilet. Sometimes reflective. <laughs> we all sit sometimes, down. Sometimes they're actually like metal. Yeah. yeah. You're right. <laughs> Who's the judge? judge. I'm the judge, the juror, right. and the executioner. <laughs> I think we're gonna go with beautiful. He's one. Oh, no, yeah. he's one. It's oh. been in a circle. Yeah. Well, mine's you know been what? the best one, and yes. dad's been the best. <laughs> All right, ready? Being most funny and humorous. Let's hear it. Okay. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Plead your case, sir. McDonald's. <laughs>